Moving on to the goodwill messages now, the Minister of State will give, please will, uh, will really, really implore you to keep to five minutes. If you can give us less, we'll really appreciate it. The Minister of State Youth, Mr. Ayodele Olawande, is here personally, and he will come up here to give us his goodwill messages. Please a round of applause for him as he makes his way to the podium. Good afternoon, His Excellency, our mother, our grandmother. <laughs> the mommy that has been to our heart so much. The first lady of Kora State, I start from the mother's side. So the governor's show, I apology, but you know they are my mother. They are the one backing us. I get all the governor present. I use the digital farmer governor of Niger State as point of contact. I stand on hold all the existing protocol and I say, Well done, sir, the chairman of EFCC. I, we, the youth of this country, fine, we will have the bad, the good, and the ugly. We will have what we call youth receiveness. We have some of us that believe in apparently what they do, which is wrong. And we are coming from a place whereby we see economic and financial commission as an agency that is against us. But let me say this. We have made up our mind, and we have said we will reduce the cyber crime in this country. And how do we want to remove it? It's not about all these reduce. It's not about the bombarding of house, doing all those stuff and all that, but bringing up initiatives, ideas, that we encourage a lot of young people. We go through different areas telling them that, see, we know, we believe, and we've had your voice. The government, for the past years, have been far away from the young people of this country. The government and the young people cannot see the government. They cannot feel the government, and they cannot touch the government. But the government of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu have bring the government close to every young people in this country. And we say it, majority of those people that engage themselves in cyber crime are in the school. 40 million Nigerian youth are students. The president said, I will give you a student's loan. Again, I will give you a stipend so that you can hold on a monthly basis. We won't stop on that. We will try as much as possible to take you to where you don't even want, like we will give you CNG buses so that transportation from your house to the school will be fair. Any student, any student that is serious-minded, that knows what he's doing, and that really wants to do better, and really wants to put things on his table, we know that this is enough, even to calm things down. And the NAS, myself, ourselves, and a lot of organizations have put this sensitization because we believe that what we need is re-engineering our head. What we need is aggressive engagement so that a lot of people that have done this on the platter of they don't know, they know we readjust and adjust. The EFCC have come and they have come to stay and we have made up our mind to support them. When people said that it's because of active, fine, there's active. Even when we were growing up, there's active. Me that I'm standing in front of you, a son of no man that becomes a minister, it's a product of the hardship that you have worked hard even in the hardship. And we have already made up our mind that if we can do it, if the president can bring it down to us, we will do everything in our power to bring the government closer to the people. And in engaging all the young people, it will make sure, even as at this morning, I just left Baoshi State, all the things we are trying to do is for them 
to fill this government, to seek this government with the initiatives, with the digital idea, the 3MTT, the NIA, the super, we can engage a large numbers of young people. And the EFCC have done it so well, it has never happened before, that planning, engaging to have a digital training center in mostly every other state that gives them the platform to do it. I was in his office even two, three months, he called me and we engaged. And everything that we have been doing is how we are going to make sure that the competency in this President Bola Ahmed Tinubu administration to show clearly we have the characters, we can meet the people, they are our people. The Nigerian youth are not criminals. There are good news that can be said about Nigerian youth, that we are hardworking. We have the can-do spirit. Even when the things are down, we have the spirit to hold it to ourselves. We are promising you as a body that we will do everything in our power. We will do everything that we can do to make sure that the Nigerian youth is with you and we are ready to work together in this system. We will make sure that we start the campaign that we started at Igu Square the other time. We will make sure that we go to every root and corners of the 774. And let me thank Mr. President for approving a youth house. A lot of people said, what is a youth house to us? We said a youth house is one. We will have a youth house in Abuja that every young people will go. Even if you are jobless, please go there. Go and put it down. We even want to know those people that are unemployed. We are partnering with NDE, we are partnering with ITF and others to train, upskill, and even put those people that have no skills and said, now it is time for us to hold this country. Nobody will come and do this country for us. Nobody will come to our doorstep and change the life of this country. We are the Nigerians. And there is no hope from anywhere. The renewed hope is here. Let us key into the renewed hope agenda from all aspects. And that is what EFCC is preaching to us. Thank you and God bless you.